Hey guys, my name is Olya and I am a Beachbody coach and a CEO and founder of Team Pure Vibes. And I wanted to tell you today about what is Beachbody coaching and what it is to me and how it's completely transformed my life. So let's go back in time to before I started coaching. I am a first generation immigrant coming from Russia. So all of my family that I grew up with are still in Russia to this day. I've been in America for nine years. So when I first came, I came as an exchange student or like a um, summer worker, I guess, seasonal worker. So I was working all kinds of dead-end jobs when I first came here for years. And I've gone through in a pretty bad abusive relationship and ended up in a hospital. And it was just pretty traumatizing experience for me. But eventually I got out of it. So I started, that's when I started practicing visualizations and affirmations and started learning about the law of attraction and all these things that how we attract all these things into our lives that actually we want to attract. How we do it consciously versus subconsciously based on all the childhood trauma that we've all been through. Either way, so I started build, building myself up a little bit. I went back to college, I met a guy, I started, you know, working, making my own money, albeit it was still a dead end job, I was waiting tables. But I was taking steps up. I moved to a bigger city, I made friends, so things were kind of looking up until there was, until I got married again. And things started kind of spiraling out of control one more time. Um, by then, I had a baby. I had a one-year-old. Um, I was pretty depressed. See, you know that situation? Like, I was feeling like I am an old person, even though I was, what, 28, 29? But I felt old. You know that feeling when you just kind of live in the memories only? Life doesn't seem exciting. There's nothing you're looking forward to in the future. Things are just boring. You you don't really, you're not making any friends. You don't go anywhere. You don't want to go anywhere. So the only thing, that, that was me. The only thing that I was doing that still kept my positive outlook on life was dance. So that gave me a little bit of commitment to get myself out of uh, the house at least once a week and to go see people and to go teach dance. So that's what was my only kind of <laughs> light of hope, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I was um, a new mom. Nothing was bringing me joy. My baby was not even, even though it is, it feels weird to say right now, but even my baby felt made me feel like I am even more trapped and, you know, tied up and there's even less freedom. And even if there were things that I still wanted to do possibly in my life, well, now I'm definitely not going to get to. So that was my condition. And I was kind of slipping into depression. Everything seemed just... I wasn't excited about life at all. And even I just was burning through my last reserves of internal energy, so to speak. So I was just not feeling like I want to change my life. And even if I wanted to, I had an absolutely no clue how to even start looking for something that would catch my attention and spark up my passion again because there was nothing <laughs> that really excited me about life. I didn't go to doctors, I didn't get on any medication, uh, so of course I was not diagnosed, but it was really not a good state. I remember walking with my baby and thinking, yeah, I think this is just it. Is this really it to my life? Is this how it's going to be for the rest of it? And I was feeling myself kind of slipping deeper and deeper into that, yeah, I think this is it. And from there, you just kind of hang around till you die. And I was so young, I was only 28, 29. So that was not the state that I really wanted to be in. That was not the state where I pictured myself. It felt like the prime of my life was way past me. And that was it, the fun times were over basically. And then there's nothing waiting for me in the future. Um, there was one day when my friend, 
at the time she it was my birthday and she gave me the pictures that she had printed out of me dancing up on the stage a few days maybe a week prior to that and I looked at those pictures and I just about cried because my body was kind of the only thing that I tried to keep in semi good shape that kept me thinking that you know I can do things maybe but after having a baby it was just completely out of my control I did not feel like myself I looked at those pictures and I could not believe that I had changed so much and I didn't even notice and I have never done that before and I didn't know what to do about it and I just thought whoa that was like the last drop of the identity crisis for me and I just kind of was at the crossroads there I was like either I have to accept this new identity and just be that way and n never aspire to anything in my life or I have to start changing something so and I was thinking if I cannot get control of my own body how can I possibly dream of achieving anything else in life so I said no 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 I gotta start I gotta do something about it so and of course at that point there was no way I would get back to my P90X program that my friend had introduced me to probably four or five years before that and we were doing that for the summer but then while well, we were working a seasonal job but then she moved away I moved away and we quit and then I tried to start it again and I just kept failing but I love the program. I could not believe that something so professionally put and something so serious can be actually put on a DVD that I can do <laughs> at home. And I actually had good results. That was the first time that I saw abs on me. But I could never bring myself to finishing that program. I was just kind of all on my own in that. So there was no way I would go back to that. That just seemed ooh, impossible back at, uh, at that time. So I just started doing what I could. I researched a lot about nutrition. I researched about uh, exercises that I could possibly do. I pulled out some of my old DVDs. I don't know whatever I had, Jillian Michaels and whatnot. Found some videos on YouTube that I was doing. So I started that journey kind of on my own. And I was like, I have to change these things no matter what it takes me because everything just seemed to revolve around that goal that I had for myself that I was not willing to give up on because I knew that was just going to take me way down the downward spiral. And I just could not move on until I achieved that goal and let myself have, uh, go get what I wanted so bad. But things just were so hard and I was uh, looking desperately for inspiration from anywhere. I posted some of my before and in the progress pictures on one of the Russian sites. And I got very negative feedback. People were saying, nothing's changed. Why are you posting these pictures? And I, it, it was just kind of devastating to me. So eventually I got some bravery together and I posted in one of the groups on Facebook. I, po I took a picture of a professional model, fitness model, and I posted a picture of her and I basically reached out. I reached out and I said, girls, is anybody else on the same journey as me? Is anybody else trying to better themselves? Am I on my own here? So I, I just plain out put myself out there and I of course was too embarrassed to put a picture of myself but I had to put one for attention or, or so I thought and I got a lot of good responses and that is how my a mentor coach found me she messaged me and we started talking and she told me about what she does and the she presented the business opportunity of coaching to me I of course had no idea what it was but as soon as she men mentioned the company Beachbody boom the light bulb went on and I um, remembered P90X and I was like whoa I have huge respect for this company tell me how I can get a license <laughs> And she said, you know what? You don't need a license. You just need to start working the business and I'll be your mentor and I'll, I will help you through the process. And I said, okay, so, you know, how do I start? I, I had a lot of questions. I had 
doubt. I had no idea how I was going to do it. So today I want to go through all those questions with you because if you're thinking about it, if you've heard of it, you've probably, you probably have the same questions that I had. But I just remember listening to her. We got on Skype and I thought, yeah, I think I can do this. I just got to the point where my mind was a blank slate. So I was just ready and open for anything. And that just seemed like Wow, and I remember the day when I was waiting tables in Bryce Canyon and I was it was a slow shift and I was flipping through the magazines. Our manager was way into fitness shows, so she was subscribed to all these fitness magazines. And I was looking at all these model girls with muscle definition and the biceps and cut abs and I was thinking, how can I be like that? And I was thinking, I, I just can't. These people are getting paid to look that way. And I have to do it all on my own, on my own time and dime, uh, after I'm exhausted from this job. And if you've ever went, waited tables, you know how exhausting it is, both physically and mentally and emotionally, because you're always uh, getting yelled at, basically. And you're always running, you're always on your feet. And I was thinking, if I could find a way to get paid for looking this great, I would so do it. That would be happiness for me. That would just achieve my goal completely. And I remembered that and I was like, wow, a law of attraction is not a joke, you guys. All these things that you think you want, as soon as you let yourself go get them, they are gonna just come to you. And that's exactly what happened to me with coaching. So I thought, you know what? I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm not exactly sure how it all works, but this feels right. This just feels like I can do it. This feels like I've got something to say and I can put my soul into it and it's gonna help me too. So it's, it's like a cycle, like <laughs> energy exchange, I guess. So that's what I started doing. I signed up as a coach immediately. I signed up with a challenge pack and I thought, hey, if I am going to talk to people about it and motivate them and ask them to join me on this journey, I have to know these things work. Like I already trusted P90X, but then there was all these newer programs. It was years later and the nutrition system and Shakeology had, that I had never heard of before somehow. So I was like, okay, I have to give it a try. I have to give it my best college try and see where it goes. And in the meanwhile, I am going to try and share my journey with people and I'm going to inspire them and I'm gonna show them what I am doing and how it's all working out for me, whether or not it's working out. So, and it was the holiday season. It was just about a year ago, close to a year ago. So there was Thanksgiving, there was my birthday, there was my husband's birthday, there's everybody in the family's birthdays, and then there's of course Christmas, and then there's New Year's. So that was, I thought if I can do it during this time, if I can, anybody can. If I can do it during this time, anybody can do it on any other month of their life, whatever they're going through. So that is how I started. And I finished one round. I finished with, <coughs> excuse me. I finished with what is it called countdown to competition last week of nutrition, which is the trainers. She's a bikini competitor as well. So that is her plan to get really, really lean and cut. So I, I, just, I thought, hey, that's perfect. I have never done anything like that. I've never seen anybody share how to do anything like that. This is amazing. So I did that and I lost my last pounds of fat, which was eight pounds. And I could see the definition. And I called up my American sister and I said, girl, we got to do a photo shoot. We've got to do a photo shoot because I have never, ever, ever looked in my life this way before. I cannot believe that this is my body. And I could never do things that I can do now. And my energy levels improved so much. And my cravings for sweet, that were so horrible and made me cry. They've disappeared pretty much completely. So that is exactly where I was. I, I, at that point, I was all in. I was completely in with confidence. I was like, this works. This has helped me achieve my goal in such a short time that I have never seen before. 
I, I sign my name under it. I will stand behind this. I love this. So as I was sharing my journey, uh, people started asking. People started to see me change and post a little more and be a little bit more open. And I, uh, they were asking me questions. They were talking to me, you know, what is it you're doing? How can I do the same? So they started ordering these programs and they started trying Shakeology. And they said, well, uh, let's do it together. And I basically said, great, yes. So all that helped me pay off my initial investment, that challenge pack that I got for myself uh, in the very first month. So from there on, it was all just basically income. And now I've got a team of wonderful, wonderful, amazing girls that I absolutely adore and that I trust 100%. Those are the people that are reaching for the, for the moon, you know, shooting for the stars. They're the people who will support you and take you higher. And then I've got a mentor. Where else can you get a mentor to help you in your career and in your life choices and in your own health? Basically for free, just because you are in a business. Um, that is called a, sp a sponsor coach. So if you join my team, that's what I would be to you. So yeah, I, I was there with confidence. I was expanding my circle of trust and circle of friends. And now we're working hard on our business and on our bodies and on our own health and incorporating these things in our families so so that it not not only affects us specifically but also generations of people to come that are coming from our you know our post posterity is that a word i think it is yeah we are working hard so i gave myself a goal i said hey it took me six years to get my bachelor's degree. It took me six years because in between I moved from Russia to America. So I lost some, uh, a couple of years of college. So I said, if I spend all this time, put all this effort, money into getting a college degree that literally got me nowhere and only trained me to work for someone else to go to a job nine to five where I am on always on somebody else's term where I am always uh, you know at the bottom at the mercy of people above me if that is the best that that six years of my time money and effort could do for me what can six years of this business do so I gave myself a promise I am going to put in six years of deliberate effort and time into this business as if it is my degree because of course you're coming into this business and you don't know anything you don't know how to work the business may possibly you don't know much about health and fitness and that's okay this business model is very forgiving you can basically fail forward and learn how to make this work while already working and earning income and helping people so the best things, you guys, that I love about this business is that you can actually just be you. Like everywhere else, you wear a uniform, you have to conform by the rules, you have to play by everybody else's, you know, your boss's um, setup, basically. But here, the way you will succeed is by being you, by standing out by exactly who you are, that you guys being an energetically oriented pe person like myself that is very self-searching and trying to be self-aware as much as possible, that forces you so much to learn about who you are and what you love and what you are all about that I had never thought of before. I was like, wow, this is amazing. I don't have to just pretend to do my job or go to work and just go through the motions of a certain job, I can actually be both introspective and outgoing at the same time in this business while making money. So I am here today to, make, to help you make the most educated decision about whether Beachbody coaching is the right fit for you. Okay, let's go through the questions. I've got my notes right here. So what exactly do coaches do? That depends, <laughs> you guys. Everybody's got different goals. 
people are looking for solutions to their problems. So if they got a goal to lose some weight, to clean up their nutrition, to um, improve their flexibility, to increase their energy levels, everybody in at different ages, um, males, females, everybody's got some sort of a health and fitness goals. So basically we are good to go and work with literally everybody. And we are here to share because we do have the tools. We have great tools and we are here. I am here to basically be the walking, talking proof of it because it's worked so great for me. So our job is to share it, to just share our stories, to share our transformations, to share our journey before we even have a transformation to, sh to show. Now the top coach that's been the top coach for a few years now, she's a 15 star diamond. She, when she first started coaching, what was it, six, six years ago, five, six, she still had 20 pounds to lose. So you guys, you don't have to be perfect to start. But you have to start to be great. All right. So most people, when they get some results, they share maybe once, they share maybe twice. Um, but they basically hoard them. So what we are here to do is be the lights, be the solutions, offer the solutions, see if we can help, hook people up with the right tools, the right programs, the right nutritional tools for them, for their specific goals. And then basically... On my team, Pure Vibes, we, our goal is to make people's lives better, is to help them become better versions of themselves, best versions of themselves they can be. Because I truly believe that when people, when each individual person on this planet is feeling happy with themselves, loves themselves and feels empowered, the world will be a completely different place. So I want to help as many people as possible to be the best versions of themselves, to learn how to love them, themselves, to learn how to discipline themselves and to allow themselves to go get what they want and to work with their mindsets to really help them become <laughs> happy people and empower them. Because that's how I felt. I felt, whoa, if I can do this, let's see what else I can do. And I, you don't have to step on anybody's toes or walk over people's heads and, you know, crush everybody in front of you to do that. There's plenty of resources for everybody on the, in this world, in this planet. And the happier each person is, the happier the whole world is. This is how it works on an, energy, on an energetic level, because you add your happiness to the collective happiness of the world. That is my <laughs> uh, interpretation, okay? This is what I believe about this world. Okay, so, uh, yeah, next question. How do you make money in this business? How do you make man money as a beach body coach? And how much money can you make? Good question. And again, that depends. It depends on how much time you have in your day to put into this business. First of all, a lot of people who start this business are either stay-at-home moms, so they, they are busy with their household and with their kids and they're driving them around and they're tending to them and their families all the time. They've got cleaning, they've got laundry, up to their eyeballs, they've got cooking and all that good stuff. There is one scenario. Someone else might start it when they still have a full-time job and their goal is to um, replace their job eventually. Or maybe they just like the workouts. Maybe they just like Shakeology. They like to follow this meal plan. They see the benefits of it. So they just want to do it as a hobby. Once in a while, they'll tell people that, yeah, this is what I do. Do you want to join me? And this is how you just make some extra money. So it really depends, you guys. If you want to be a hobby coach and just do it like that as a hobby, as a part-time income, that is your part-time income. You can make three, four, five, six hundred dollars doing that as a hobby. Uh, now, 
If you are all in and you are wanting to do it professionally, again, the best thing about this business is that it all depends on you. There are people for whom it only took a year and a half. There are other people for whom it took about five years. So it really all depends. And it's always going to be a reflection of how many people you help, how many people you deliver results to, how many people you, how many lives you change by both um, fitness and nutritional help or helping them build a business in this industry if they're wanting to, just like I am doing. So yes, there's two ways to make money. There's commission that you get from um, whatever everybody orders through your website that the company provides. And then there's team bonus. And the team bonus is not, we'll talk about it later uh, in a little more detail. It is not that you are making money off of the people who you are signing up. It is only going to be there if you help those people become successful business owners. So that leads me to the question. Um, now, is this a pyramid scheme? That one I actually had to study because once I started, people started telling me, you know, you get a little bit of the negative talk once in a while here and there. And people were saying, oh, it's one of those pyramids. So, and I actually didn't know what it really means. So I had to go and look it up and see if it's legit and see if, uh, what the difference is. Now, you guys, what is a pyramid scheme? It is something that is organized. It, it's like a structure, basically a fake market without an actual product or service. So it is like a business model without anything provided. So you just make all your money by signing up people into this like empty structure where there's nothing at the core of it. This is how you make your money. And of course, the sooner you get in there, the higher up you are in that pyramid, and the more people are signing up underneath you, the richer you are. And the people who are, there on, who are on the very bottom, they're not going to be obviously making any money. So that is what a pyramid scheme is. And by the way, you guys, in America, those are illegal. Um, what is beach body business? It is nothing like a pyramid scheme. It is a respectable business. First of all, we provide great, great, not only products, not only tools and services to the people, but we also provide ongoing help and support as coaches. So you will never find a good or respectable coach sell you stuff and then leave you high and dry. They will help you through the process. They will help you get the results. And that, you guys, is amazing to me. And then the products are seriously the best of the best. They're completely bulletproof. I, it's absolutely something that I will recommend to people even if I was not a coach. I would still sign my name under it. I would stand behind it 100%. Okay, so now let's look about, uh, it is called, basically Beachbody is called network marketing company. So what it's based on is based on building relationships with people, finding out about what they're struggling with, what their goals are, learning how you can help them best, and then uh, basically plugging them into the right support group with the right set of tools to help them achieve their goals. That is as easy as that. And then check on them, uh, lead them through the process. And it is not as hard as it sounds, really. All right. So in here, it all depends on you. It does not matter when you signed up. It does not matter if you even have an upline or not. It all depends on how you work the business. 